Hello friends, uh, I'm Parviz and today is our ninth lesson in Python OpenCV. <coughs> uh, we are using Python 3 and OpenCV, okay? Uh, today we will talk about face detection in OpenCV. Uh, basically, uh, face detection has been one of the hottest topic of uh, computer vision uh, for the past few years. Uh, and uh, uh, this technology has been available uh, for some years uh, now and is being uh, used all over the place uh, from camera that uh, make make sure faces are focused before uh, you take a picture um, to Facebook when it attacks people automatically once you uh, upload a picture uh, uh, what is uh, the theory of face detection classifiers. Uh, in face detection, we have uh, classifiers, and uh, the theory of this is uh, of face detection is this that uh, a computer program that uh, decides whether an image is a positive image or negative image is called a classifier. What does mean from uh, positive image and negative image? Uh, basically, positive image is a face image, the image that has faces, and uh, negative image is non-face image. Uh, a classifier is trained on hundreds or thousands of face and non-face images to learn how to classify a new image correctly. Uh, fortunately, uh, OpenCV provides us with two pre-trained and uh, ready uh, to be used for face detection classifiers. We have two classifiers in uh, OpenCV that they are trained and there is no need for training. Uh, they are uh, trained for face detection. And the first one is a uh, hard classifier and the second one is LBP classifier. Uh, both of these classifiers uh, process image in grayscale. <coughs> um, if you want to detect an image first it is important that we should convert uh, our image to a gray scale and uh, uh, these as we have uh, mentioned uh, before uh, these are pre-trained in OpenCV uh, to run a classifier if you want to run a classifier we need to load the knowledge of files first first it's important that we have uh, uh, load them. They are in XML files. Uh, each file starts with the name of uh, a classifier it, it belongs to. For example, uh, if you want to detect the face, uh, the classifier is uh, in here I have. Uh, this is, you can see here, casket front face underscore default dot XML. Uh, this is the name of the uh, classifier. Uh, I have downloaded this uh, before from GitHub. Uh, I will. Uh, there are some uh, pre-trained uh, XML files like uh, frontal face, uh, body, um, eye detection. These are pre-trained. Uh, I will add the link uh, in the description. You can simply uh, get the XML file. Okay. Uh, now, uh, as we have. Uh, mentioned that uh, we have uh, two types of classifiers uh, in OpenCV for uh, detecting uh, uh, face, for face detection. Uh, the far first one is hard classifier. Uh, the hard classifier is a, a machine learning based approach. Uh, an algorithm that is that was created by Paul Viola and Mitchell Jones uh, which uh, which is mentioned before that they are trained uh, for many many positive images with faces and uh, negative images uh, without faces. The second one is LBP casket classifier. Uh, as any other classifier, the LBP uh, local binary pattern, in short, we can call it LBP, uh, also needs to be trained uh, on hundreds of images. Uh, LBP is a visual texture descriptor and uh, thankfully our faces are also uh, composed of uh, micro visual patterns. Uh, 
So uh, now, uh, what's the difference between these two? Uh, we have hot classifier and LBP classifier. Uh, each UPCV face detection classifier has its own advantage and disadvantage. But the major difference are in accuracy and speed. Uh, so in case uh, more accurate detection are required, uh, hard classifier is way to go. Um, if you want to uh, a perfect and accurate detection, that uh, we can use hard classifier. Uh, this is uh, mostly this hard casket classifier is more suitable in uh, technologies such as uh, security systems and some other things. Uh, but uh, the LBP classifier is faster uh, than the hard casket. Therefore, it should be used in mobile and uh, embedded applications. This was the uh, difference between uh, these two classifiers. Okay, now we are going to the favorite part. Now we want to code our first detection in Python OpenCV. Okay, uh, first of all, we should import uh, CV2. Okay, uh, the important issue that you should download uh, the XML file and uh, copy this in your uh, package folder. I have copied in here before. Okay, now I import CV2. Uh, after that, I up read my image. Uh, image CV2. Image. My image name is uh, give your image name. Okay. And now change your image to a gray scale, okay? Uh, gray cv2 uh, dot con convert color. Uh, we give our image, uh, we give cv2 dot uh, color underscore bgr <coughs> 2 gray to gray okay now uh, we can show our gray image okay uh, cv2 m show in gray and we want to show our gray not image okay right now <coughs> and cv2 dot uh, weight key uh, cv2 dot destroy all windows okay now if we run this you can see this is our grayscale image okay <coughs> uh, now uh, the main important issue uh, first of all in here okay uh, make a here face casket casket okay we have a function cv2 uh, for uh, uploading of our this uh, xml file open cv a, fu uh, a function that is casket classifier okay uh, you can call it uh, cv2 uh, case kit classy Fire <coughs> and write uh, the name of this. Uh, let me, I can, if I can copy this, <coughs> refactor rename. Yeah, I can copy, just simply copy this and paste it in here, like this. Okay, uh, now we have. <coughs> Another, uh, uh, let me write it in here. Uh, we have face, we call face. Uh, uh, this is not here, I give it here. You could give it everything, no problem. And uh, copy this dot detect. We call another function detect multi scale okay and write your gray 
newer converted image. Okay, uh, this uh, this uh, detect multi scale. Uh, this this is general function uh, to detect objects to detect objects. Okay. Uh, in this case, because in this video we are detecting a faces, so we call the face cascade. Uh, if it finds a face, it returns a list of positions uh, of uh, set faces in the form of a, a, a rect x, y, and w, h. If not, then it returns none. Uh, and it has some uh, parameters, uh, some inputs. Uh, the first one is uh, we can in here image we can give our converted image. Uh, the second uh, parameter is a scale, a scale factor. Uh, this function compensates a false perception in size uh, that occurs when one face appears. Um, when one face one face appears to be bigger than the other simply because it's closer to the camera. And we have uh, a main neighbor. Uh, this is a detection algorithm that uses a moving window to detect objects okay now in here we give uh, our scale factor scale factor to 1.1 and uh, also we have uh, main neighbors main neighbors this is 5 okay now if we uh, print this print uh, sorry faces found len uh, name it faces faces okay now if we run this you can see in here uh, in in this section faces found sex it means that in this picture we have six faces okay uh, one two uh, three four five six yeah yeah you can say that six faces are found okay <coughs> now uh, we have found our face successfully okay uh, it's time to go over the list of faces and draw them, uh, draw them as a rectangle on our um, original col color. Okay, you can in here make a for loop for uh, for x. Y W H N faces C V two as a function uh, rectangle rectangle image X and Y mm, X plus W Y plus uh, H and uh, in here we give the color of rectangle uh, <coughs> zero. And we give it uh, two fifty five uh, zero zero. And also the border we give it uh, five. Okay. Uh, now uh, simply we can remove this gray and cv2 dot m show our face call it face detection and our image okay <coughs> now if I run this you can see that we have uh, successfully uh, we have successfully detected our faces here yeah? You can see that here is written six faces, and in here we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, let me change the color uh, to 
a red color to maybe good looking 255 let me run this yeah this is our face okay I have another image uh, okay let me open the image uh, yeah this is image uh, I want to detect uh, we have two faces in here I want to detect this faces okay uh, just change this to um, image.jpg okay let me run this uh, you can see that it detected uh, the face these are the face okay uh, I have also uh, another image uh, that we we yeah this okay now I change this to my dot image now if I run this you can see that uh, it detected the phase and phase found C1 okay uh, this was our image our face detection uh, we will go further and in the next videos about face detection also we will talk about our eye detection and others uh, if you have any question uh, please uh, let me know and uh, for the further videos uh, please uh, subscribe my channel.